Okay, guys, how are we doing down here? The Associated Equipment Distributors right. Foundation has named the Daryl A. Dennis Professional Technical Education Center as the very first secondary school in the United States to achieve status as an AED-recognized secondary school for its heavy-duty diesel technology program. This national recognition will allow Dennis Center students to advance to additional training offered at diesel programs throughout Idaho, the region, and nation. The award culminates a five-year certification process led by Dennis Center faculty, industry advisors, and Idaho State University College of Technology. During a ceremony held on Thursday, October 21, 2010, Stephen A. Johnson, Executive Director of Associated Equipment Distributors Foundation, presented an award to Dennis Center heavy-duty diesel technology instructor Ron Martinez. Uh, please display it proudly. Uh, it is a major accomplishment, and uh, here again, my very sincere congratulations on the job. Very well done. Last year, the diesel program had 100% of its students move on into college. A sheer sign that collaboration between secondary, post-secondary, and industry can work. And, and it is. This program is just a great example of that. Johnson says the national recognition comes at a good time because he predicts there will be a shortage of heavy-duty diesel technology technicians. Now the re well, the recession may have mitigated that a little bit, the, the demand for these disciplines. Uh, when the industries come back, there's going to be a shortage like we haven't seen before. And it's just really important that we get students interested in these types of careers and uh, that we are able to meet the industry's demand for these skilled technicians. What would give us an exhaust leak? What would be an indicator of an exhaust leak? What's that? A crack? Instructor Martinez agrees the national recognition will open a world of possibilities for his students. We have three colleges, two and one in the works, that are coming in to AED certification. And our students are going to take tech prep and naturally transition over into the colleges. So what does that mean? We're going to have a higher student count moving into college. We're going to have students with more knowledge at a high school level. We're going to have industry that is going to be getting a student that is more qualified than they've ever been in the past. Dennis Center students like Stephen Cantrell, a senior at Bora High School, are confident the national recognition will help him realize his career goal of becoming a heavy-duty diesel technology technician. It opens up a whole new world for us. It gives us a whole this new equipment like the Kenworth in here and these backhoes. lets us train a lot better. Um, it pretty much sets us up for moving right into the college level. Um, gives us a chance to get out in industry for job shadows, and it's just an awesome experience. Max Moore, a senior from Bora High School, has his sights set on becoming a police officer, working as a commercial fleet inspector for the police department. It's a great step up um, ahead of the game for when we go to college. Um, we know how things work and what to do, and another advantage is um, we have the brand new vehicles, which um, is the generation of vehicles that's going to need working on by the time we get into the industry, so we'll know um, more about how to fix those. This is the sixth year of the heavy-duty diesel technology program offered at the Boise School District's Daryl A. Dennis Professional Technical Education Center. For the last three years, students enrolled in the program have taken first place at the state heavy-duty diesel technology competition. Last year, students enrolled in the Dennis Center program took the top five positions in the state competition. In the national competition, Dennis Center students took third place in the heavy-duty diesel technology competition. With this new AED certification, the Dennis Center becomes the only secondary school in Idaho and in the entire U.S. to earn this national industry accreditation. Dan Holler, reporting for Boise School District News.